Got some briefcases. I'll go ahead and flip around so you guys can see this music box. Pretty cool. $30 unit, I believe. I'm going through one of the music boxes. I got another one, so a lot of more stuff to go through. Hey, this is this is what it's about, living the dream, picking. Let me flip you around here. Not a bad find. This stuff is all in there. Free music box. Turn that off so you hear. Well, we got some cool stuff. This is all out of that little thing. This wasn't in there, but I use that to check out some markings. I got, I'll check these stuff out over here. Some costume stuff. I believe this is costume anyway. Try to put that. This on pickeradam.com. This is interesting. I've seen this loose $10,000 tag. Or a 10000 tag. I don't know if it's dollars. This is a 4000 tag. That got me interested. I believe this stuff's costume. I'll probably have that listed on pickeradam.com shortly. If it's not already on there. I'll go ahead and list that one too. And these I'm going to get checked out before I list. I uh, see a little marking here. I might have to get my jeweler's loop out. I don't know. Looks like a... Might be sterling silver. I'm not sure. Kind of looks like silver, but I get them gems checked out. Got these checked out. These, I believe, are David Yerman. A little jeweler mark. It looks like different designs, $100 to $400. I might put them $400 or best offer. See what comes in from them. I don't know. Somebody who knows them might they might be worth a little more, a little less. You guys tell me if you know. But I believe it's sterling silver and 14 karat gold. Let that camera zoom in on there. I got this stuff. Hopefully these gems are legit. I don't think I don't know, but I'm not sure. Them gems are legit. They could be worth some good money. Anybody know much about this stuff? It looks like sterling silver. Looks like there might be some real small markings on them. I'll have to get a loop on see if I can see them. I get this stuff checked out with those and this little guy checked out. That little guy, if he's if he's real, that's worth some money. This looks like it. Stone or something's been took out of. I'll make sure. See if that's gold. But not bad, $30 locker. This I think it's marked for sterling. Got a maker's mark on it. I get that checked out. But so far, so good in this $30 locker. A lot of junk, but hey, you find some of this stuff, it gets you a little more excited. It does me anyway. I'll see what else I can get. Living the dream, picking. Got another look up jewelry box. A little rough jewelry box, but it's also in that $30 unit. Hopefully we find something good in here. Pretty cool looking jewelry box. Wish it wasn't in such rough shape. I'll go through this one, see what we can pull out. Oh, that looks good. Mom, or does it say wow? I'll sort this for you guys real quick. And get back to you with what we find. A little bit of gold and silver. We got us some jewelry boxes. Cool little jewelry. These are interesting. I don't see a maker mark or anything, but I think they're kind of cool looking. They look like they're missing the part of the earring, but they're some type of metal. Well, a lot of this stuff will be on pickeradam.com. This is silver. I believe. I think this one's silver. I'll have to check it. I think this one's marked sterling silver. This one I had to get a magnifying on. That'd be a nice diamond. If that one's a real diamond. You guys be able to tell.
Not bad so far for thirty dollar locker. I'm gonna go see what else we can get. So another box. Just on tap. That, that platter is probably about an $80 platter, not this one on top, the one in the box. If it's good, i got to check the box. That's just a plasticky. But this one, looks like a rural Albert. Looked up the first thing. I see a $50 tag on it, but they're selling used for $32, $42 shipping. I might list a lot of this stuff either on PickerAdam.com or the PickerAdam eBay store. I'll look some more of this stuff up, but... I mean, right there, I'll get about 30 bucks probably out of this one, and that's what I paid for this whole unit. I already got the jewelry, so it's turning out pretty good, just living the dream treasure hunting. I'll see what this box does. I'll pile it up and show you guys. Well, this ain't been a bad box. I like Royal Albert stuff. It's 30, 30, 30, 30, 35, 40. This is about 30 bucks. Cool little crystal, but it wasn't in that box. It was same locker, but different one. This stuff is a different unit, but this Royal Albert Crystal was out of that $30 unit with those jewelry boxes. So, I mean, right there was that one, two, three, one twenty, one fifty-five, one ninety-five. If we count that, two twenty-five, I believe. And then if we go over here, here's some more. This wasn't in this one little cardboard box, but there's another Royal Albert, eighty bucks. This one I couldn't find one that sold. It's a Royal Albert. It's like a kitten in a mailbox music box. I'm going to put it at probably 100 or best offer, somewhere around there. I think it'll go between 70 to 120 is probably where it should be at. I'm not really sure. Couldn't find one for sale. About some that sold, but not with prices. And then this thing has a nice presentation case with it. There's Royal Albert set. Uh, the last one sold for 152 plus shipping. It's a pretty cool little case that comes in there. And lighting ain't that great with the plastic. But I mean, right there, it's another over 300 on. That's probably not worth much. It's plastic. I'm not counting that in there. But that's, I mean, if this one goes for 100, that's 252, 330. How much was this stuff again? Let's see, 330. And we got 360. That's 390, 420, 450. 480, uh, 520, and 555 without that, 505 in that box. There's some smalls too that I'm probably not going to list. I don't think they bring enough for shipping them out. But, eh, probably throw them in a yard sale or something. But, oh, probably over $500 worth of stuff. Around 500 bucks in this one little cardboard box of Royal Albert. Well, that and a couple other things mixed with it. But, not a bad little box. Swirl Albert stuff. Good thing I didn't just chuck that away. It's about 500 bucks. Whatever is clever, I'll take it. Got some briefcases. This is Justin the locksmith. I need them. Might have a flathead if it's. Yeah, flathead would be better. I ain't worried about the knife. I'm gonna get it.